I would like to call the hearing uh, to order uh, this afternoon. Uh, the topic of the hearing this afternoon is on H.R. 6, the Domestic Prosperity and Global Freedom Act. And uh, at this time, I'd recognize myself for five minutes of opening statement. And uh, as I said, we're excited about this hearing uh, today. This is on the legislation introduced by our colleague, Corey Gardner of, of Colorado. Uh, one of the subject matters that is really being discussed throughout the world today is the uh, abundant energy supply in America. And of course, one reason for that is the recent finds in uh, natural gas in, in America. And we believe that while we need further discussion on it, of course, that the export of liquid natural gas not only would it be beneficial to our allies in Europe who find themselves dependent on expensive natural gas coming from Russia, but it would also be beneficial to our own economy because of the low, ca low cost of natural gas and with the expansion of infrastructure to get that natural gas to market, it's going to create uh, a lot of jobs. Another benefit uh, from the export of liquefied natural gas would, of course, be to improve our trade account deficit, which uh, has been negative uh, for many years. And so despite all of these benefits, though, the current process for approving LNG exports is very slow and unpredictable. Just yesterday, the DOE did approve an application to export LNG from the Jordan Cove terminal in Coos Bay, Oregon. This marks the seventh application to be approved by DOE, but there are still over 20 applications pending. While the world waits for natural gas from America, a backlog of applications to export languishes at the Department of Energy. Now, we also understand that approve, getting the permit approved at DOE is just the beginning. You still have to go through FERC, the environmental process, so it's going to take a while. But this is an important development for America. Uh, we believe that it's important for the entire world. 